The FIS Firecat OTDR is a great troubleshooting test tool with the industry's best value for an entry-level OTDR. You will see in this video how to set up, test, and save your traces along with tips and tricks for smooth testing. Here is a product overview of the menus on the unit. In menu 1, the zoom can be adjusted up to 8 times to focus in on detailed areas in your trace. You can also move the cursors to select specific events or sections of the link as needed. In menu 2, selection of the pulse width is accessed, where either medium, long, or short pulse widths can be selected. You can also adjust from scan mode or real-time mode. In menu 3, the index of refraction can be set along with the wavelength. This unit is a single mode unit with 1310 or 1550 nanometer selections. In menu 4, traces can be stored or recalled on the unit and also sent to a PC. The LCD screen contrast and backlight can be adjusted. You can also access the settings for loss readings on the unit and settings for extended range and kilometer or feet options as well. In menu 5, you can access the Fiber Trace event table for a quick link reference. First, start by selecting the pulse width and the wavelength for the run of fiber you are testing. We are using a medium pulse width at 1550 nanometer for this test. When using your OTDR, it is important to keep all ports and connectors clean before plugging in to test. Be sure to clean the OTDR port. Be sure to clean the pulse box connectors. and be sure to clean the first connector in the fiber under test. When all ports have been cleaned, simply press the scan button to begin the trace. The OTDR will show a pulse above the wavelength while under test. Do not remove the connection while the light is flashing. The word done will appear when the test is complete. You can now highlight sections or events on the trace by using the zoom and cursor buttons in menu 1. The AB cursors will highlight distance and loss. To store the trace, go to menu 4 and press the F1 key for export. Use the arrow keys to select store and the next available number location will show. Press F1 again to store the trace and you will see the number advance to the next location and the file is now saved. To recall the trace, press F1 and arrow to recall. Arrow to the number trace you wish to recall and press F1. Menu 5 will show you the event table for a full trace breakdown of the events on the fiber. Real-time mode can be helpful when locating fibers on different ends of a link. Real-time mode sends a continuous pulse down the fiber. Attenuating the fiber by putting a slight bend in it will allow for fast identification of fibers on far ends of unknown links. Using a fiber optic terminator at the end of the fiber under test will significantly reduce the end connector back reflection, as seen here.